So you're trying to go into the healthcare field and you're debating between becoming either a nurse or a physical therapist. So in this video, we're going to be covering both the professions and covering five different topics to make sure that you're making the right decision. So first topic we're going to cover are job duties, the amount of schooling, the cost of schooling, the work environment, and the salary and job outlook. So make sure you watch to the end of this video to learn all five of those categories for a nurse or a physical therapist. Lego. So you already know a lot about what physical therapists do, and I'm gonna be talking about that just briefly later on. But what first we're gonna talk about are nurses and what they do. So nurses, depending on the qualification, can hold a variety of tasks, but in general, nurses are the ones that will typically spend the most amount of time with patients in whatever environment, right? So nurses will typically work under a physician and the physician will be going in and doing their rounds and um, doing their stuff, their diagnosis, evaluations, but it, it is the nurse's job to really be there to explain what's going on, um, how long this is gonna take, to be there every single day, to make connections with them, to talk with them, to empathize with them, and to really take care of the patient. You know, there's a saying that says, it really depends on your nurse on whether you have a good or bad experience. And this is really true. Nurses do so much. And depending if the nurse does a great job and, go, and goes above and beyond for the patient, it really would depend if the patient has a great experience or not. So typically these are what nurses will do on a daily basis. And you can probably remember when you went to the hospital or when you encountered a nurse, this is something the nurse might have done. So number one, maybe collect patient history. Uh, two, discuss treatment plans with you or the family. Uh, making sure the family's needs or the patient's needs are taken care of. Administering medical care like medications, wound care, and other things like that. Uh, maybe even performing physical exams or diagnostic tests like ultrasound. Uh, communicating with other healthcare professionals about what the best plan of care and treatment might be and what might be most appropriate for the patient. Now, sometimes, you know, I think there are some rumors, and it might even be true that there's some kind of hierarchy in the hospital when it comes to nurses' duties. And nurses, uh, you typically have like the physicians, the doctors, the admins at the very top, and then it trickles down to the nurses and so on. So sometimes nurses might feel like they can't talk and give their input to the physicians about, hey, you know what? The, the patient is kind of uh, presenting this way. I, I'm not really sure if this diagnosis might be true, you know? Doctor, maybe you can consider this other diagnosis or consider other diagnostic tests just because they're not presenting in the way that uh, they should be. You know, um, nurses have that capability and that's how the work environment should be like. There shouldn't be a hierarchy where the doctor says it's my way or the highway. And if that's the work environment that nurses are in, unfortunately, that's not a good situation. You know, it would be best if it's an environment where nurses can share their opinions and share what they think might be going on. Because come on, let's face it, nurses spend the most amount of time with the patients when you compare them to other healthcare professionals in the hospital. So I really, really, truly believe that nurses should have a huge impact as to how the treatment should be and you know, be able to freely share their opinion without feeling judged or looked down upon. All right, and of course we have physical therapists. Now, physical therapists can be there to evaluate and diagnose different movement disorders and be there to analyze human movement. Physical therapists are able to treat utilizing different techniques like manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, therapeutic activity, 
gait training, neuromuscular re-education, and so much more like uh, modalities and uh, scientific agents. Physical therapists can also help with fitting and uh, assisting with different assistive devices like wheelchairs, uh, canes, single point canes, quad canes, axillary crutches, and all of that. And ultimately, physical therapists are there to help the patient return back to their prior level of function. All right, so let's talk about schooling. Now, in order to start working as a nurse, there's actually several ways to go about this. Now, typically, it will take somewhere between two to four years to become a nurse and start working as a nurse, and there's different ways. So number one, you can get what's called a nursing diploma, which will take somewhere between two to three years to complete. And this is without a collegiate level education, meaning you don't have to go to college to get a nursing diploma. Now, this isn't as common anymore. It used to be what was common to become a nurse, but now what's more common is an associate's degree, an ADN in nursing, right? Associate's degree in nursing. And this will take somewhere between two to three years as well, which is the amount of time it takes to get an associate's degree. And then lastly, you have your third way to become a nurse, which is to get a BSN, a bachelor's in science in nursing. And this will take about four years, maybe five years or so, um, whatever it takes to get a bachelor's degree. So you can go through all three of these routes to become a nurse, but typically employers will value and favor more of the ADN, which is the associates, or the BSN, which is the bachelors. The, uh, the diploma, the nursing diploma is kind of hit or miss. I would, if I were to have a choice, I would actually rather go the associates or the bachelors route if I wanted to become a nurse. Okay, so schooling for a physical therapist. You have to have your bachelor's, which is gonna take at least four to five years, and then you have to have a doctorate degree in physical therapy, which is gonna take you three years. So for a total, this is gonna take you somewhere between seven, eight, or nine years to complete, depending how long your bachelor's is going to take. All right, so let's talk about the cost for the schooling of a nursing program. Now, remember how I talked about those three different things, right? We had the nursing diploma, the ADN, and the BSN. So a nursing diploma, now I checked on many different websites and this is the average that I found. And of course, it would be different from private versus public and all of that stuff. Um, but for a nursing diploma, I found that it would, it would cost about eighteen dollars to $40,000 to complete this. For an ADN, it would cost somewhere between six to $40,000, depending on public or private. And then a BSN would take would cost somewhere between forty dollars to $200,000, depending on public or private education. So the cost for physical therapy school. Of course, you have your bachelor's degree, which is gonna cost somewhere between forty dollars to $200,000, really depending on if it's private or public school education. And then you have your doctorate degree. Now, there are a variety of costs for this as well, which is gonna be differentiated between public or private school education. But on average, it's going to cost at least $110,000 for your tuition alone. Okay, so we have work environment. This is gonna be super important because when you start working full time, you wanna enjoy the type of environment that you're in. Is it hospital? Is it outpatient? Is it home health, right? So nurses have a variety of places that they can work in. Yes, it is some nurse, most of the nurses that you think of are in the hospital, but what department in the hospital? Is it emergency room? Is it surgical? Is it critical care? Is it just on the stable floors, right? There are a variety of places that they can work in. Um, they can work in physician's offices. They can work in different places like in schools, right? Like a school nurse. They can do home health. They can do nursing care facilities or SNFs or skilled nursing facilities, convalescent homes, dialysis centers, right? Outpatient clinics. Nurses can be utilized in so many different places 
and you just need that one degree or the diploma to start working as a nurse. So there's a huge, huge, there is a lot of opportunity to work in a lot of different work environments. So physical therapy, there are typically two different categories that you're gonna work in. You're gonna be either an inpatient in the hospital or outpatient, which is in the outpatient clinic. Now, of course you have the different specialties, right? So neuro, ortho, pediatrics, uh, vestibular, whatever it may be, but typically you'll be either in the hospital or in an outpatient clinic. Now, physical therapists, yes, different work environments. You have home health as well. You can also work at schools. You can do travel physical therapy. You can work with different populations, right? Like the VA, you can work in the prison. You can work with uh, specific neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease. There's a whole different work. There's a huge opportunity for physical therapists as well um, to work in different environments. Oh, I forgot even um, like horse therapy, hippotherapy, uh, maybe even aquatics therapy, like in the, in the water. Um, there's a lot. So lastly, we are looking at salary and job outlook. I got all my information from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Now, job outlook, for those of you who don't know, that means basically in the future, in the next 10 years, what's the job growth gonna look like? Is it gonna decline, incline, at, and then at what percent, right? So the Bureau of Labor Statistics said that the average salary for a nurse is $73,000, and the job outlook is at 7%. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics for a physical therapist stated that the median salary would be $89,000 and the job outlook would be at 18%. Huge growth in the difference. All right, so I gave you a bunch of information in the five different categories comparing a nurse and a physical therapist. Now, if you're trying to go into the healthcare field and you're debating between the two, yeah, there are a lot of pros and a lot of cons, right? The amount of schooling that you need, the amount of cost it costs for schooling, the amount of salary you're gonna make, what's the job outlook gonna be in the next five to 10 years, right? All things are considered when you're trying to choose a profession. So I hope this video was super helpful for you in considering all those things because that's something that I would highly consider when choosing a future career. Now, in my opinion, if I had a choice between a nurse and a physical therapist, if I was solely looking at tuition, the cost of school it would cost, the amount of uh, schooling it would take, and the amount of salary that I would make, I would for sure choose to be a nurse. And this is because as a nurse, you have a bunch of opportunities to work in different places. So you can always transfer your experiences to different locations. And for the amount of schooling that you need, for the amount of salary you're gonna make, oh, dude, this is gonna be great. And of course, as you know, nurses work about two to three days and then they have the rest of the week off, right? Or sorry, three, two to four days on and then the rest of the week off. So that's a lot of time that you can use for yourself, right? You work hard for a little bit and then you can rest the rest of the time. Well, as physical therapists typically work five, six days a week, like an average schedule. So if I were to choose, if it was just tuition and, and money alone, I would for sure choose a nurse. So I hope this video helped inspire you to choose either becoming a nurse or pursuing a physical therapy profession. And I hope that everything that we talked about in this video was super helpful, insightful, and really helped you make an educated decision as to which profession you want to get into. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please share this with your friend, get this video a like, and comment any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching, stay lifting, stay aloha, God bless, have a great one you guys.